right next to can slaw. That's giving me a better number. I like the coin anyway. It's close to the top too. Well, if it's silver, if it's silver, I'll let you know with the wrap up, but I don't think it's silver. But it's a dime, I'll take that. Can you roll? Yeah. Okay, take a look at this. This is not my first, I've been here for a little while, but that looks like more than just bling. We are in the oldest park. Oh my goodness. Um, we're in one of the oldest parks. I don't know if that is cool. I don't want to break it. I don't know if it's like a cliff earring. I don't know, I'll, I'll clean this up and show you in the wrap up. This is pretty cool. And uh, right over here, there's another, that's cool. Go ahead and bring it over here. Very delicate. I always had a great feeling about this park. I just didn't know if it was legal to dig here. But it's tech would be worried. Ooh, I should go wider in case it's not just jewelry. I know that's it right there. And that's just a shield penny. But I'll take that, you know. Wow. Yeah, I thought that was. Well, that was bad with my pinpointing. Part of the machine was. I guess it's in there. And ding. Boy, that's an old nickel. Look at that ding. That's been hit by a city park lawnmower, too. Again, the worst thing I hate to see is lead and batteries in the ground. I'm glad I dug that up. I don't care if it's a garbage target. I like to get batteries out of the ground. We on? This is where that first battery is. Right beside it. Three inches down. I'm gonna guess it's the second battery, but if it is, I want to get it out of the ground anyway. color. It's a George. I know, gross. He used to spit. Gross. <laughs> you know what? I'd rather use my spit. State and I'm going crazy. No, this is actually a bicentennial. 
that's kind of cool. I saw two numbers, and I don't know if it'll show up in the video. But we got the little drummer boy in the back. I doubt that's actually showing up. I'll show in the wrap up though. Kind of cool. Right next to the uh, bicentennial quarter, I'm getting another one. A four inch, that's where the quarter was. But right next to it seems to be the theme of the day. There's been everywhere I've dug, seems like three inches away, there's something else. And what's cool is I really haven't found a lot of trash in this part. Respect to the people in Longview. Oh, I feel a tetanus shot coming. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it is. I'm pretty sure that's Penny. There she is. He is. They are. No, I think it's a dime. Yeah, it looks like a dime. Person? Hold on. Give him some light here. like an idiot if this is a shield penny. <laughs> it's definitely a penny. Dog on it. And it's a memorial. Nothing big. Oh well. Take it. I'll clean it up and get up in the sunlight. I'll clean it up and I'll show you in the wrap up. Pretty cool.
and it is nickel day. You know, this might be what a tiny that is. Unless it's like really new. Oh my god, I did it. I did it again. My favorite freaking corner. I did it again. Seriously? Yeah! You can see that? My other one was a 43. I don't know if you can see that on there. 44! 44! I got another warning. With And it's a San Francisco, big old S up there on the top. I don't know if it's coming in. Nice! One of my favorite freaking coins to find because they only made these three, four years. I think it was four years that they put silver. And I mean, when it came out this shot, yes! Love it! Love it, love it. That's my goal. I'll come back on the next one. That's cool. Love finding silver. That just goes back to, wow. Okay, for all the Christmas lights and stuff. Look at that. It's like ceramic, I don't know. I'll tell you what though, they don't make Christmas bulbs or anything like that with that. Look how nice, shiny, semi-dirty, semi-shiny, ceramic. That's, that's a little bit old. But our city here has had lights up in these trees for 100 years. Pretty cool. And here we are in front of the city of Longview, the Longview Public Library. That's Longview, Washington. And in front here, Mr. Robert A. Long. I went to his high school, R.A. Long. Well, actually, I don't think he... <laughs> he didn't go to high school there. It was just named after this old guy. Anyway, big old statue of this guy. Uh, I got mixed feelings on him, but we won't bring politics into this. Anyway, that's Robert. A lot of people liked him, I guess. That's a dime. That's an oldie. Look at that. That's orange. Asian orange. That's oranges. I don't know. Rosie there. Roosevelt. He's kind of orange. Kind of looks like current president, don't it? It's orange. <laughs> Just making a joke. No politics here. Just making a joke. I don't know what year this is. If it's silver, which I doubt because it's orange. Um, I'll show you in the wrap-up. See you on the next hole. I will show you the train. This is probably now going to be a longer video than what I expected.
Look at that. You can see in there. That conductor, or what would you call it, an engineer, he's he's been on there about 140 years now. <laughs> now that's old. Rebuilt with pride. Nice. If you know any of those people, uh, go ahead and head, leave a comment down below. Long Bell and Company. I said my grandfather moved up here from Kansas in 1931 and started working at Long Bell. There's some kind of family history. I could not tell you if my grandfather was anywhere near this train back in the day, but anyway, there it is. That's the train. Probably wasted too much footage on this train. I like train. surface. I don't know what state that is. Is it a volcano? Well, it doesn't matter. It's like, I don't know what state that is. Tree. I have no idea, but it's getting really dark here. So, as they say, we'll say a, a fond farewell to uh, Longview. Um, quick view again. There's the gazebo. Over there we found a lot of coins. I didn't film a lot of pennies, but over there closer to the post office, we were over there at the library. I, I, it's too dark, I don't think it's gonna show up. And of course, directly across from the good old Monticello Hotel. Civic Circle, well you tripped me well. You gave me a Warnick and what? Some kind of jewelry. I'm gonna test that when I get home on a gold testing kit or for or at least for silver. I got a kit to test all metals. Anyway, good night, Longview. Hey, this is Metal AF. We'll see you at the wrap up. Okay, time to do a quick wrap up here. Um, it was a good weekend. Got a lot of digs in, found some, you know, pretty cool stuff. Um, despite uh, the Fisher F44 um, having a problem, it wouldn't pinpoint. Um, I could not find my depth. It would not tell me how deep my objects were. So at times it was on, it was off. Well, I went ahead and said, yeah, Saturday, let's go ahead and order. Um, ordered a simplex. I can't be without a detector. 
while the Fisher is under a five-year warranty and I'm going to send that back down to Texas here as soon as the simplex arrives I had to get a simplex well I had to order one I cannot be without a detector um, for the fines that's showing up very well but that's you know your typical junk we have a uh, you know everything from tent stakes to a looks like a house key someone obviously had a bad day a pair of wireless earbuds uh, I think that's part of a vape pen batteries the thing I hate seeing in the ground batteries and lead um, yes you saw I'm pretty sure that's a ceramic that's showing up okay that's a, a ceramic insulator the city of Longview has uh, tens of thousands of lights inside that city park that I was at um, as for fines what do we got here what is it 12 nickels 11 dimes and seven quarters including yeah that bicentennial I spit on you know I was making a joke about that but you know what I I trust actually cleaning a coin with my spit over going to a water faucet during the you know the COVID right now so yeah I spit on that cone that cone no I spit on that coin anyway some of my better finds uh, of course were well, I found that pocket knife. I hope that's showing up. It's, uh, that's got to be old. I mean, I look at that and looks like the blades are pretty much rusted out of there. Part of the original casings wore off or rotted away in the ground. And um, this piece of jewelry, I still haven't tested it. I got a metal testing. You know, etch your metal to see what kind of gold or what kind of silver or platinum it is. I got the acid test for all kinds of metal. Kind of interesting. I haven't checked it yet. Um, I haven't really cleaned it up yet either. I mean, obviously. It's a nice looking piece. Nice looking stone. It's very heavy. And I can't get a magnet to stick to it. Now, that doesn't mean for sure that it's gold or silver. It could be lead. Uh, the really interesting thing about finding things like this is thinking how old is that I mean it almost looks like Victorian era I guess they would call it and I think about some sweet lady that was in the city park the civic circle of Longview that wore that maybe 50 maybe 100 years ago and dropped that it's just you know us as a detectorist um, where did it come from who wore that 100 years ago or even 20 years ago I know it's been down there for a while um, there's my uh, 1942 you see it or excuse me I'm gonna try that again no that's absolutely right it was a 42 that I pulled up yeah I got a little excited I always get excited about war nickels I've only found one before there's my original my 1943 being that they only made war nickels for four years whereas of all other silver coins in American history about 200 years of making dimes quarters half dollars dollars everything silver of course and you know if you know the story during the war effort they needed nickel for ammunition so they took out the nickel and added silver and so I get a little excited well, as you saw in the video maybe too excited anyway hey it was a great hunt um, I was gonna give a little bit more uh, history on the city of Longview being it's it was I still consider it kind of my basic hometown um, a few miles out here in the country and smaller town of Castle Rock uh, my history though I was looking up about Longview and I found it interesting I showed the statue of Robert A Long now he does have a high school that I attended there in Longview of course he didn't go to that it was named after him the Long Bell Lumber Company was uh, well led by Robert A. Long who what bought the large timberland areas of Cowlitz County in 1918 with a total of 14,000 workers needed for his two mills 
Then Long, Long, Robert A. Long, built and planned the city of Longview by 1921. Several buildings were built in the city and were funded from his private money himself, Mr. Long. Pretty interesting. But that's it. I'm going to call that a wrap up. Like I said, it's been a it's been a pretty good week. Except for, you know, the fish are malfunctioning. But, you know, there should be a simplex here within a couple days and probably the next video next weekend I'll uh I'll be using the simplex and I'll send that fisher back. So, I hope everybody has a good week and I'll see you next weekend. Sorry about the delay. Like I said, the fisher last week was really messing up but like i said it's going back to texas it's under warranty i'm not going to whine about it i got another detector on the way anyway hey you all have a great week and this is metal af jd saying a goodbye